hello friends welcome to my youtube channel today in this video i will show you how to use label control in our qt qml application and how to use its basics property and how to apply the hover effect in some style sheet so basically label control is to display the simple text and simple font type of text so let's start and let's check the use the label control so first include the qt qt controls and now use the uh, label control so in qt widget application we use object name property instead of id property so here we use id property for to assign the uh, in specific name of our the label now we use the uh, font property so let's set the uh, pixel size first of all and now let's set the uh, font bold property now set the font italic properties as set is false also set the font family here so let's use the vardana family okay now let's write the some text here write the display text value so write the qt with ketan name now also set the some width property and height property so let's set width is 200 and height is 100 change the width to 300 and now let's run the application now but before we run the application display the our uh, control in center of the application so here set the some anchor property okay anchor dot center in this parent okay now let's run the application so you can see the our label control also let's assign this some background style sheet of so you see a rectangle set this uh, first of all the radius is a 10 also set the border color so let's set the border color as a blue and set the border width also so set to it to our okay or five now let's run the application and check it this time so you can see but our text is not displaying in the center of the label so display the text in center use the vertical alignment so use qt align v center and for the horizontal alignment use qt align at center and now let's run the application and check it so you can see the now text is displaying in the uh, center of the label now also let's create the uh, basic uh, hover effect property so for the create the hover effect we use the mouse area so first of all the given i guess set the id so must remember whenever you create any object in Qt QML, you must give it any any ID for it. So now set the anchor field and enable the hover effect. And now let's say this is some cursor type cursor shape. So here we use uh, select any cursor. So there is a lots of cursor let's select the anyone use the point hand cursor okay so when we whenever we hover on the level the cursor shape is become a the hand cursor hand type of cursor okay now let's set the color when we hover on the label so we get the some effect okay so now set the uh, content mouse property when our label content the mouse so set the text color as a red or otherwise set it set it to black okay and also let's say set the scale factor scale event okay so same as mouse content set 1.2 and set it to 1.0 okay and now let's run the application and check it so you can see whenever i hover on the uh, label you can see the effect and you, here is the scale value you can adjust or change the as per your need so by this way you can easily create your style sheet 
or create the hover effect on the uh, label control by use of mouse area so guys this is the label control we here we use and please drop your comment if you have any questions about QTQML label control and please like this video and share this video with your friend and subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of new video and thanks for watching my video thank you